welcome to another round one. This is a best of five, and we have on the bottom playing as the Traveler 59. We have Hulk, and on the top side, we have Descal Deso. We're gonna say Deso. His name, I can't read that, but it's Deso. So, I believe it's Deso. We have him playing as this Scrin, so it's not going to be good for Scrin. Maybe he played random. I couldn't imagine him picking Scrin against Traveler. That would make no sense. Looks like we got, oh my god, we got 10 speed disintegrators. Very cheeky. Maybe he did pick his faction then. Did he pick Scrin against Traveler? That's insane if he did. That's insane. We got speed disintegrators coming out. And Hulk looking for that tasty win, quick win. I mean, it's either a win or loss when you do something like this at the start of the game. You need to do damage. So you've put five on this side and five on that side. It's going to get scouted pretty quickly, though. I mean, it is scouted, so maybe you'll be fine. Oh, it's scouted straight away. He even Oh, my God, he even loses the disintegrators. The thing is, does he know it's a 5-5? Five five? He didn't say... Oh, my God, he scouts everything. Absolutely amazing scout for Deso. Holy moly. He scouts absolutely everything. All he needs now is one harvester and one, and then gunwalkers. I think gunwalkers first is a bit silly. You want to get another harvester out. Okay, this is a this is a bit silly. You don't want to be equal to the traveler player, so you just want to get a harvester out here. Even though it's a commitment, I mean, traveler can start going to harvesters pretty much straight away. So this is a mistake from Deso. I mean, this is okay, but I definitely want to go one harvester first. He's economy. Is just as bad as a traveler player but you know he's doing okay i mean that he sends that away he's gonna move that back he's doing okay micro on the bottom here but uh traveler he's gotta be careful that's gonna sit in the bay he needs to sit this in the base and have a have a unit ready these disintegrators are gonna come in oh my god he lifted the drone ship it's gonna be game over isn't it Oh my god, what a mistake. What a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see the biggest mistake in gaming and Kane draft. He can't... Oh, that's it. It's game over. It's game over. Oh my god, it's game. It's game over. That's it. It's over. And Hulk is going to take game one because Deso scouted everything. But he just went out of position. Expanded too quick. I can't believe it. And he is going to lose game one fast fashion. And it's a hero disintegrator as well. He's got a hero incinerator. Oh, that is rip. That is rip right there. And he's got nothing left. He can't he can't possibly win. Traveler has three harvesters. GG. And Hulk takes game one in fast fashion. Welcome to game two in this best of five series. On the bottom side, we have Deso playing as the Scrin. It looks like he is picking his faction, and I have to say, very boozy to play with Scrin against Traveller. Because on the top side, we have the man who got a quick win last game, playing as the Traveller 59, Hulk. Hoping to get another cheeky win. Oh my god, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Hey, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, as they say. And it's very broken against Scrin, but um, he's going for it again. He's a madman. Why not, eh? You can also get the spike in the middle. Oh, wait a minute. Deso going some some descents himself. He's, he's, he's had enough. He's had enough. But he's fed up. He's fed up with it. He doesn't want to say, look, listen, you come to me and mess me up last game. I'm going to mess you up this game. And he's going a lot of descents himself here. This is going to be a surprise. He's got to be careful. He's got speed disintegrators, but they've not got speed yet. And he's in trouble. He's losing his disintegrators for free. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Hulk's in trouble. Hulk's in trouble. He's going to have to put a buzzer hive down. But at the end of the day, oh god, it's not looking good for Hulk. His speed gets done, but he loses everything. His main attack. Well, he accidentally went for the drone ship there. But this is really good for Deso because he only built some disintegrators. And he takes a much better trade. I mean, these disintegrators are here, but I mean, will these be unnoticed though? Will he get in? Will he kill him again? Seeker. A Seeker is a big mistake. I'm not sure why he built a Seeker. That doesn't make much sense to me. A Seeker is, is a... That is a mad lad if I've ever seen one in my life. Man built a Seeker against Traveller. Now that is next level. Next level shittery there. Oh, just since it's in the middle though. He sees a Seeker maybe. I don't know what the Seeker is doing, but he has made him come to the middle. Disintegrators should have just went around the map. I'm not sure what he's done here. 
Oh, it's unscouted. Oh my god. Deso is lucky. He's lucky again. Hulk went for a spike. What a mistake. That could be that could be a game-ending mistake right there. He actually went for the spike. I think he made a big mistake here. I think that's a huge mistake if you ask me. He could have got in the harvester line and won the game again with some sneaky disintegrators, but he chose not to. What a mistake. Wow, big mistake. Big, big, big mistake by Traveller player. Hulk obviously not doing the correct build there. Now, he's just moving this drone ship without any support here. Okay, he's going to have to get Gunwalkers out now because these, these are synths are coming over. He's going to put that drone ship down. But, um... I'm not sure why he didn't just go for the Harvesters. I mean, he's going to go for the Spikes. But he didn't really get any damage done with this. He went 10 Disintegrators. And he has done no damage. He didn't even kill this Spike. He's going to get nothing done. And, I mean, Traveler's being Traveler against Skrin. You don't have to 100% do damage. You can still win with Cultist late game and Prodigy. I mean, that's the blessed thing about Traveler against Skrin. Even if you do no damage, you're still in a good position because... You just have better late game units and mid game units and better build orders for mid game. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, so Hulk, Hulk is all right, but no damage is pretty bad though. Oh my god, he's going more harvest. He's going more descents as well. The issue is though, if this does no damage, and then the game goes even later, then you're in some trouble. I think the seekers make no sense. Uh, Deso, if you watch this, don't build Seekers against Traveller. It doesn't make sense, my son. Because Traveller's just going to spam Mass Gunwalker Descent or Mass Gunwalker Cultist. Uh, Mass Gunwalker beat Mass Gun, uh, Mass Seeker in the long run. Unless you're going for a Tier 2 and you're going Seeker, Gunwalker, and you can get his base and then shields, that's okay. But I think he, did, he does scout these Disintegrators, though, with one Seeker. That is nice of Deso. Obviously, he is one game down, so he's going to want to get on the scoreboard. Like I say, only a best of five. I say only, but first of three wins pretty much wins. That's how a best of five works. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to see. Obviously, this is a round of one. So, I mean, if you lose, you do go to the loser's bracket. Lots of seekers, but, yeah, look at this. No no gun walk of support. No nothing. This is crazy. This is a, such a wasteful attack from Desta right there. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, he pulled back. He actually, oh wow, Buzzer, Buzzer Swarm comes down and actually, this actually might work out now. Never mind, looking like it's a good attack all of a sudden. Lightning Spike comes down, he's actually going to get two Harvesters, that's incredible. Not good reaction time from Hulk there and actually these just Seekers do a lot of damage. They're going to get cleaned up, but that actually did a lot of damage. It looks like he lost a Harvester by the way. Looks like he lost a Harvester in return. He needs to move some Harvesters over into his expansion. Airfield, that's kind of wild. He does kill a lot of harvesters here. He's still got these seekers here. I mean, he should die for that harvester. Mistake from Deslo. Oh my god, never mind. He actually get. He needs to get on that Tiberium. Wow, Tiberium Hive. You don't see that very often. You don't see that very often. The Tiberium Hive will kill that seeker. But it also damages the harvester. That is some well. That is some well played mo moments there from Deslo right there. He actually needs seekers to do base damage to it. So he can't actually go Gunwalkers. And this is hurting the Harvester over time, I think. But I think the Harvester actually heals. So actually, I don't think it does that damage against screwing the Harvesters, maybe. I wasn't seeing much damage being done to them. I think he can sell this as well. They actually look pretty cool if you actually go in. That looks pretty cool, that. I never really used it. Like, I've not used this in ages, but it's actually a pretty cool thing. Take damage over time. When in... All units with infested arrow will take damage over time. It's pretty insane, actually. But the harvesters heal in Tiberium. Screen harvesters heal in Tiberium. So even though it does a little bit of damage, as you can see, it actually heals anyway by the time... Oh, wait. Unless it goes fully on it. Oh, never mind. The further you go, the more damage happens. I just realized I don't really ever use it. So I just thought the screen harvester would heal. Oh, my God. Oh my god, he actually put the synths on it. That's insane. This Tiger Room Hive is doing so much damage. <laughs> Lots of disintegrators coming up from Hulk. We got some storms. We got some storms from Deso. Holy crap, storms are actually going to be clutch here. I mean, I would have gone for the full harvester here. But that's me. These descents are doing no damage. Really well played from Deso. Brilliant play here, actually. Kills another harvester. Yeah, best to get for another harvester as well. Yeah, so he's gonna run away. 
Oh no, he's gonna go back. Yeah, I would say go for it. But he might not get it because he pulled back. Oh, he does get it. Did he go eight storms? I think he went like eight storms there. Definitely six or seven. Kills three harvesters. Pretty good for him, I would say. Good trade. Good trade. This Tiberium hive is still alive. And it actually gives you uh, scout and... Okay, it's dead now. That's it, yeah. Could have sold it. Could have sold it for a bit of money. But it gave him a lot of scout and vision as well. Mechapede's already out for Deso. I mean, you got to watch out for cultists. That's the only thing. Like, Hulk can go a lot of cultists right now, so the same thing you gotta be careful about going Mechapedes. Tech is out. He's only got three, four, five, six harvesters. Gotta be careful with cultists, though, honestly, but it doesn't look like there's a status chamber down, so. He actually might be in some trouble here. I don't see any cultists coming out, and he's traveling 59, that is wild. He's actually going Mechapedes himself, I don't like that without the cultists. I do not like that. Where's the tra where is the traveler unit, baby? You're not screwing. Oh, he's I think he's dead. I think Hulk is dead here. What is he building? He's building a storm column. I mean it's okay, it would help, but he can just move away from the storm column. And he, he has to put it here, but now he's tech vulnerable. I mean Mecha P will go down. Oh, not not in a headshot. It's not a headshot unfortunately. Oh, not a headshot again. So you can kill this tech. This tech is vulnerable. Looking like it's going to be a 1-1 one -one in the series. I don't think he can hold this. Lots of Gunwalkers coming through. Hexapod comes out. And we're probably going to see a quit from Hulk. There's no way he's coming back into this. That is going to be it. I like some uh, I like some Toxic Spray. Could kill his own Mechapede a little bit with the Storm. The back segments anyway. And he could kill the tech. Sells the Power Plant. He needed that Power Plant. No, that's going to be it. No, he can just aim down that tech. Another storm comes up. That is a lot of gunwalkers. Holy moly. Wow, there's a lot of gunwalkers. Tripod gets cancelled. GG. Hulk has been defeated and we are going into a tight series at 1 to 1. Alright, welcome back to game 3. We're in a tied series between these players. And we have on the bottom side playing as the Skrin, sticking with Skrin, Deso. Currently 1-1, like I said, got us got on the scoreboard last game with an interesting screen play. He beat Traveler 59. You don't see that very often. His opponent to the top. Switching up the factions. We have the green GDI Hulk. Now, in my experience, when you switch to GDI against Scrin, you're thinking Firehawks. You're thinking some APC rockets at the start of the game. You're your you because you, what you can't really do with other factions is kill that tech quickly but with gdi you can get the shadow fighter upgrade you can get in their base and that's the way you kind of want to play gdi is where you want to have the air dominance and the ground dominance at the same time and now you have to find a balance between that at first you want the ground dominance and ground dominance is literally map control right say you're against traveler 59 or screen they're going to have speed disintegrators, lots of gun walkers. So as long as you have five rocket APCs at the start and just attack them, they've got, they've got to get the cultists out. And as soon as they start getting cultists out, you retreat back to base. But what you do is you put loads of gun walkers down at the front. I'm talking about Traveler, really. And you just keep holding until you get your Firehawks and you just bomb them out of the game pretty much. And then you get a Marv out and you stop their Prodigy. As long as you stop Traveler's Prodigy, you're in a good position. But uh, he is against Scrim, so he hasn't actually got to worry about that. But he has got to worry about the Mastermind, so... Got to be careful with the Wormhole. Got to be careful with the status. As your Scrim, if you see someone going tech... Fast tech after the third refinery, because the GDI build Firehawk is... Is three refinery, two or three harvest, three or four harvesters on this field, five on your main. And you can status the, uh... You can status the, uh... Blah, 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 blah. What was I saying? You can stay this the uh, tier two uh, command post. Prediction started seven hours ago. I was waiting for the result. No, sorry, never. I actually forgot about that. Fair enough. I'll do it after this game. It's a long result. What can I say? Now, it doesn't look like there's any disintegrators. Buzzers behind the spike. There's the APC rocket I'm talking about. The uh, classic, I would say, bike rush build here. My build. Um, classic, classic APC rocket. Everyone seems to be doing it. Even now, after all these, all after, I'd say this year, man. I'd say after all this year, people still doing it in R19, eh? Um, five? I do like the five, honestly. I said five and he actually does it. That's pretty insane. Prediction, man. It's easy to kind of read these players. Wait a moment. 
Where is he's what is this? What is this? This is not needed. Um I get why he's doing it, but I, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's gonna put your refinery so far behind. And Deso just going for the defense. If you were so worried about our attack, you could have just split two APCs on the top left and attacked with three. And that would hold. But uh Deso with a huge defensive formation here. As long as he's got a photo cannon as well. He'll whack down a photo cannon. He's fine. Five APCs are not going to do anything. The one thing he can do is start dropping mines down. That got absolutely destroyed. And trying to micro. But like I said, that didn't really do anything. And two refineries from Deso here. Looking great. In a great position. You know, I've not seen much of his play. That's what I like about these tournaments. This is why I'm casting every game that's played in the tournament. Just to showcase, like, lower players we never see ever play Kane Draft. No, we always see, like, Master Leaf, Drive, Rex, Phoenix. You know, we always see, like, me and all that. We never see the players that make the game the game itself, you know. That are there in the background getting games in. So, it's good to showcase them playing pretty well. And he's done a really good defense. Like, you'd be surprised of how many people just died to that. Pro and good. Or mid players that just die to that so easy. I like the anti air already, he's a bit too fast. I don't like the anti air already. More APC rockets, that is insane from Hulk. This is way overkill, this is too much. He's just going for economy. I, I feel like this is way too much. You want to get predators out at this point, you don't want to keep going APCs. So, the way APCs work, pretty much against Scrin, the longer the game goes, the worse they get. Because you've got to think about tripods. They, they absolutely shred APCs, like, they shred them. APCs are so, so bad against tripods. So think of, like, think of Roaches in StarCraft 2, and think of, like, Marauders. And then, yeah. Or Immortals against Bio uh, Marauders. It, it, the longer the game goes, the worse they get, kind of thing. But I guess Bio is pretty good with Terran, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if that, makes, that one's that the greatest. So yeah, they got roaches pretty much. These are roaches and the uh Oh. And the tripods are colossus pretty much. And you think about ten colossus against roaches, wrecked mate. Wrecked. And they have four shields on this, you know? They actually have shields upgrade. So and they fire three little shots here. They fire two pretty much and one at the back. These are wacky. They look so weird, right? You know, I've never really looked at a tripod, but don't these look so weird? Like, who come up with design on this? They're so wacky looking, bro. Like, what is this thing? Does it have eyes? Like, what is going on with this? It's a cool design if you actually look at it. It's pretty cool. It's very weird. <laughs> well, this tower coming into play right now. Oh, the tower in the back. The tower in the back actually coming into play. Oh my god, that's a big army, though. That is a big army. Storm coming out. He's actually got Shredder up, the uh, Shardler upgrade. The uh, Plasma upgrade. Shard launcher upgrade, sorry. Because he's scared about Firehawks. Oh, he's going to have to status this. He's going to have to status this. This could be a big status. Why does he not status this? Oh my god. Does he not have status ready? Oh my god, he does status. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, that's clutch. He needs to repair this or lift it. He needs to get out of there. I would lift this and run. Oh, he can't lift it. Never mind. He needed to lift it when he could have. But now that's dead. Oh, that's dead. He loses the drone ship. Oh my god, he doesn't have a crane. Ladies and gentlemen, he does not have a crane. But oh my god, he's done so much damage on the top. This game's very spicy. This is a spicy game. Sonic comes out though. And uh oh. Oh my god. It's a spicy game. Gunwalk is coming out. They're going to get shredded by these Preds. No crane, no nothing. Loses, puts a repair drone down. That's a waste of money. All Hulk needs to do now is Firehawks and he wins the game. There is no way to lose if he just kills this War Factory of Firehawks. And that's game over. Oh, unless he does this. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. Bro. He doesn't have a war factory. Bro. What is this game? I've never seen a game like this in my life. Um, he doesn't have a war factory? So he only has an airfield and a barracks? Ladies and gentlemen. We are about to witness a very, very strange game. That I don't think has ever been seen. In a very long time on Kane Draft. 
This is very unique. What the hell? He needs to put that zone trooper in that. Oh god, he's gonna lose the barrack. Oh, he's, oh, he phased it. Oh, he shouldn't have phased it. He should have killed the barracks. He should have killed the barracks right there. That would have been clutch. I mean, he can still get firehawks though. If he goes firehawks, he can still win the game. Oh my god, bro. We have one airfield and we have one portal and one more factory. He has a oh he has a status chamber. Oh, he can build shocks. Oh yeah, he can build shocks, bro. Snipers are needed. Snipers are needed 100%. He's upgraded his power plants. Oh, I don't know about this. He needs a little bit more anti-air than this, though. Mechapedes are needed. He's going Gunwalkers. I would like Mechapedes at this point. He's going to the right. Oh, he's going to stop him getting Firehawks. Does he have Railguns? Bro, he got Railguns for 4,000 resources, but doesn't have a War Factory. <laughs> he's not even repaired this airfield. So, Gesso could just jump on this airfield and kill it. He could just jump on that airfield if he knew and could just kill it. This is pretty insane, if you ask me. That tech is going to go down. He's aiming it. Yeah, that's dead. So now, he can't kill the tech. Zones are coming out. He's got, he's got sensor pads. Well, that increases the hit points. I actually didn't know that. Power back. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. I'm learning something very new after all these years. I thought that literally just increased. That's an armor upgrade? Bro, I didn't actually know. I don't think I ever get that. Holy crap. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> Bro, I've been playing this game for how many years? I didn't know that. What, what the hell? That's an armor upgrade. I had no idea. Shit. <laughs> Bro, I just thought that increased the jump radius. So I never got it. Holy crap. That's uh, interesting. That's an interesting discovery that I just found out today after about 10 years of cane draft. I'm probably Tiberium Wars. Oh, actually, he has, pr oh, he says he has this little army down here. Oh, wow, he has this little army down here, actually. Oh, that does come into play. My mouse is playing up right now. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. This army he needs to get out of there. This is his own ground army. He needs to get the hell out of there. Oh, this is a very unique game, bro. They both don't have builds. I mean, these, these these hammerheads could come down here and snipe that war factory. If he manages to snipe that war factory, I actually think he could win this. And he should definitely go snipe the war factory. Ah, oh, he's making a mistake and going for the army. Just snipe the war factory and you're good. He's got to have some beastie micro. If his micro is excellent, I think he just wins. But it's going to be very close. Oh, those... He just wastes it. He kills one, but that's a big waste of shocks, though. Oh, this is so close. It's so insane. Oh my god. The hammerheads are going to come through. And I actually think Hulk might win this. This is actually insane. Teleports the tripods away, but loses all his economy. This is actually insane. What is going on in this game? What is going on? Both lost their build, re build reduction. Oh. Oh. Mechapedes are going to come through though. Yeah, but loads of Mechapedes. He could just land. He could just land his own troopers into the ground. And just go for it, you know. He doesn't need to put everything in there. He can just build a ton of infantry at this point and just send it. So there's a refinery. I think that would be his best bet. To put all his zone troopers on the floor. And just full send it with loads of zone troopers. Keep this army alive as well. Should have killed that status chamber when he got a chance. Masterminds. Just chilling. I think Hulk probably wins this just because it's gonna be very close. It's gonna be very close here. He's gonna have to repair this tri tripod. I'm gonna go for the. I'm gonna go for the spikes. Yeah, killing the spikes is pretty good. He gets another harvester. He could just aim the head on that mechapede. Yeah, he kills that. Well, that, if that war factory goes down... Oh, he's not paying attention. That's unfortunate. These mecha beads have to be very careful. I would I would go for those mecha beads. I would go for them. I'm killing one 100% instant headshot. Oh, 
but I guess he just doesn't want to throw. He's being very careful. But I think he's being too careful, you know. He's being too, too careful. Gonna kill another spike. Kills the extra spike. Yeah, I think for the raid, Yuri. Hulk is gonna run away from him. But he has no production. He, I mean, he has no build construction. They both have production, but literally, Deso only has a war factory and a portal. And he has nothing else. And Hulk only has an airfield and a barracks. So he can only build hammerheads. I don't think I've ever seen a game like this in this kind of way. I mean, I've seen some sort of games like this, but the way it worked out is very weird. Um, our heads are going to come across the map. He needs to shoot the mechapedes in the head. You need to aim those mech- Oh my god, if he just goes for that war factory. Oh, that war factory's dead, G. He could, he could, he could aim that war factory down. Go for the power. What's go for the war factory. Just go for the war factory? What the hell, man? It's really winding me up. The war factory's just sitting there. Mechapede comes through. Oh, oh my god, he has to be careful. Does lose a few- Does lose a few hammerheads. It's <laughs> such a weird game. What the hell? He has a lot of infantry. He should just spam lots of riflemen as well and go across the map. I think he wins if he just spams nothing but riflemen. Like 20 riflemen with this army. Plus the rockets. Because he's going to have the buzzer swarm ability from his tier 2. Mechapede's going to come up. Going to get a few shots off. Going to repair them. Yeah. Yeah, this game turned a weird game, bro. His MCV died on this hill. The drone ship went down over here, and they both just have, like, a few buildings left. So the past five, six minutes, it's just been hammerheads and mechapedes and gunwalkers. Four mechapedes. He could have killed this war factory plenty of times. So if Hulk loses this, it's just because he made so many mistakes not killing the war factory. Oh, oh my god. Oh, mechapedes are so 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 good he needs to put all his, his units he needs, if he just put all of his units out of these hammerheads into the ground with the zones he would win the game he would literally go across the map and there's nothing screen could do i don't think screen could hold it i think he would phase he'd run away from the phase and then you come back i honestly don't think he could hold it He's got some predators as well these mechapedes kill these harvesters and it's over. And just remember, he can't rebuild harvesters, so if these go down... If these go down, he's dead. Oh, he, oh my god, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! What, get it, get it, what the fuck, get it, what? Why'd you pull back? Oh my god, why are you pulling back? The harvesters actually gonna live. Oh, he does phase, he can kill this one though, that's a waste of a phase. Now is the best opportunity to put all your units on the ground and just go for it. That was a bad phase right there, I think. Oh my god, you see how much damage that did? But I think it's over. I think it's over. I think Hulk can put all his units on the ground. It's a very close game, but... Bro, if he just puts these units on the ground and full sends it, he wins the game. There is nothing Spring can do now. He doesn't have enough hammerheads. And... I mean, these tanks are sitting up here as well. And why not grab this EMP in the middle? Grabbing this EMP in the middle could be big. There was a tower. There's not enough anti-air here either. He's actually going to get that. Does. Oh, he doesn't quite get it. Kills a status. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, one rocket. Ah, not quite. Turn around and kill these mechapedes. Hulk is way too passive. He just needs to full send it. He just needs to go, man. You don't want Skrin getting too many mechapedes, bro. That's how you lose a game, because all it takes is some really good mechapede volleys and you lose the game. He just needs to full send it. I really don't understand why he's afraid of like eight gun walkers and two tripods. There is, and he has no phase. He can't stop it. It's impossible. He has no warships. He has nothing. He can never stop the push if he just ungarrisons. That's all he has to do. He just has to put all of this on the ground. Kills that. Oh, nice killing the ha ha harvester there. More rockets. I would like a lot more riflemen here. A lot more. I could sell the Sonic as well. He doesn't need it. These harvesters are not working. Send him up here. Oh, it's four mechapedes, bro. It's getting dangerous. These hammerheads are becoming more and more useless. 
shortly. Oh, turn around. He could have killed that one. He's got to be a bit careful. Deslo. I think on two harvesters, though. I think on two har Oh, he kills. Oh, he kills more mechapedes. Oh, God. He killed all the mechapedes, actually. Oh, oh, big shots. Oh, he kills another mechapede. Bro, go back and repair. Go back and repair. Jeez. Go back and repair. He's going home to repel these hammerheads. They're going back home. They are repairing up. They are getting ready for their next attack. The brave troops of the GDI on their conquest to win a game. Man, they look so good, don't they? Like, graphically, look at this. Insane. Obviously, the 4K mod helps. But God damn, look at that. Look how beautiful these units look. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, he's full sending it. He's gonna lose a tripod. He loses one tripod for free. Oh, he lost a tripod for free. Deslo, man, he's in dire need. He does teleport one away. Ugh. Mechapedes need to, uh... Mechapedes need to do more. Oh, no. These are gonna come in into the base. Is there anything to stop these hammerheads? That's the question. Is there anything? Yes, the Mechapedes are at the back. He is gonna kill more power. Kill the tier 2. Kills the tier 3. Tier 2, sorry. Oh, he has to run away. They are gonna run. Mechapedes are gonna chase. But it's not looking good. That, pro, that mastermind, he's gonna run. The harvesters, he's only got two, he loses one. Final harvester left. Oh, he kills another harvester. And Hulk, looking like he's actually gonna win this game. He's got no harvesters, that's it. Oh my god, I can't believe this game. What a wild game. What a wild game, honestly. That's a good thumbnail and a good title. Hammerheads for, for the win. I don't know, editor will have to come up with something. Oh, how do I get rid of that? There we go. Ah! 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 Oh my god, my mouse got stuck. Hee <laughs> hee, step mouse, what are you doing? And that's ranked, they're getting repairs. The full army of the hammerheads, too powerful. Oh, we're going for a final push, Mechapedes come across the map. Not going to be able to do anything here. I mean, there's nothing he can do. Did he get another harvester out? No, he doesn't have any money. He actually can't afford a harvester. He needs to sell the tier four. But the army's pretty actually big from uh, from Hulk. He can, oh, he got the. How did he get the tripod? Oh, he had a barracks. He actually got the tripod. I forget. He could have been calling in how blood, bloodhounds the entire game. He could have had like four of these, by the way. He could have had like fucking eight APCs, eight pit bulls, all ranked up. These mechapedes are causing trouble, he needs to deal with it. He could have just built a massive army of bloodhounds, honestly, and put the rockets in the APCs as well. I forgot he could do that, you know? He could have done that the entire game. But uh, he has no money. He has no money at all. Gunwalkers at home and... Looking like a Hulk victory. Very weird game, but that's definitely going to be it. That power plant in a good position, to be fair, to keeping him alive. Mechapedes at the back, killing Hulk at the there. He's got no power now, so he can't call in anything now. That was his last call in. He's got no power. He'll have no power all game. Teleports two of the mech... If, if the only way to win is if these mechapedes get hero. And I mean all of them, by the way. He needs all these mechapedes to hit hero. <laughs> and then there's a, there's a chance. There's a chance if they, all these mechapedes somehow get hero. And even then. Even then. It will be nearly impossible because he just cleaned up everything. Last buildings are going to go down and he has no production left. This is all his buildings left and he's going to aim these gun walkers down. Death slow on his last life now. His last life. He's got nothing left. He has no production. Hulk still with the production back at home. Still building more hammerheads. Got the resources. This is it. This will be the final fight if he goes for it. This is it. Oh, oh he loses two hammerheads but... Oh, he does rank up that Mechapede. Gotta be careful not to give him Hero. I don't think they could still win, even with Hero. Because they could never clean up the infantry, I think. And he could never attack and keep his base safe. That's why he needs all four of them. Oh, the, the, the Prodigy, the Mastermind takes the tripod. But the Hammerheads are gonna come across the map and just kill him now. 
Oh, he tried to teleport away, but it died. That's it. GG. And that is going to be game. And Hulk with a brilliant win, actually. Brilliant win. I think if Deso just attacked that airfield or killed that barracks, he would have won. Like, but he didn't need to phase that tripod earlier. He actually had a tripod on that barracks, and he would have won. There's no units, and the hammerheads would just get wrecked. So I think this is a throw from Deso. Oh, he's got to be careful, though. He's got to be a bit careful. But I don't think it matters. Oh, some big hits, some big hits. Some big... If he gets two heroes and doesn't realise there's a bounty, that would uh, take Assassin's two heroes away, though. That's the only thing. If, these, if he does get two heroes, I think this game is before Assassin's two heroes. So Assassin's praying that he doesn't see two heroes in this game. <laughs> He's praying. He's praying. Yeah, he needs to sell the tech to buy it. How much money has he got? Oh, he got 700, 800. So he can afford a little bit, but this game is over. Let's speed this up. Here we go. Last building. He's gonna aim that building down. Oh, come on. You're gonna aim it down at this point. Mega Beans are gonna come in. Hammerheads are gonna go for the kill. And GG. Hulk gets the win. That's like a 25 minute game. We'll play 2 1 the Hulk. God damn. Welcome back to match 4. We have Deso on the bottom. Currently 1 down from 2. That was a very bad way of saying 1, two, one to 2 down. Um, but there you go. Deso is down 1 game. He does have one win on the scoreboard, and on the top side we have Hulk playing as the green GDI. It did work out for him last game, 2-1 advantage here. One more win, and he wins the series, and he goes on to the next round. On the bottom, Deso obviously needs to, uh, to win this game just to make it into the uh, ace match for both players. So it's going to be interesting because we've got GDI, and we've got Scrim on decision. We've got two spikes. Uh, I don't think Hulk realizes there's two spikes here. Or he's doing something really dumb. I actually think he's going to all in. If he all ins against Skrin, it's a big mistake. Because he didn't grab the spike. And the only reason I think he wouldn't grab it is because he wants to go for this with an MCV cell. Oh no, it's standard plane. Never mind, never mind. I thought it was something a bit cheeky. Never mind. I was like, maybe he goes airfield. Maybe he goes airfield and just full sends it, but thinking against Scrin. Can't really do that. What do we got here? What are we doing here? Oh my gods. Oh my absolute god. His tournament life. His tournament life is on the line. While the winner's bracket, tournament life, it's on the line. And the madman is going dev rush. Dev core rush, I believe. The absolute mad lads. That is incredible. A dev rush in 2022 is so rare wow incredible bit cheeky not sure it's gonna work out but we'll see two dev tanks out i mean surely this doesn't work it's really been scouted it's scouted so quickly where's the drone ship the drone ship's going over i mean you just go to war factory mass predators and you don't lose pretty much Oh, I, I can't see this working. I actually think this might be his tournament life over with. I, how does this work? You just go Predator tanks. Oh, he built another Harvester. That's a bit cheeky. Oh, don't go Airfield. Airfield is not the correct way to counter it anymore, I think. I think 2 War Factory just counters it. And Guardian Cannons, but... We'll see. Airfield might work out. But he's got no money. He actually built an extra Harvester and it was a mistake. You only want three harvesters. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. I don't think Orcas is actually correct, because the drone ship comes along and puts anti-air down. But um you can't just go to War Factory to hold this. But he needs to sell his MCV at this point. He needs to sell it. Oh, he went that extra harvester. And I think Hulk's in big trouble. There's already a gunwalker here to counter the air, and I think Hulk's dead. Wow, a dev dev core rush is actually gonna win. And that's impressive. It, we stopped playing for a minute there. He, got, he had like five harvesters. He way overextended with harvesters. He needed better defense. And 
He's in some trouble here. These harvesters. He's got orcas, but he can just repair for day, man. He can just repair for days. These gun walkers. Oh, he's not enough. He needed to set his MCV as well. And he just needed a dive on the dev tanks with like four orcas. It's not going to be enough DPS, I think. It's not enough DPS. Oh my god, he doesn't kill it. Oh my god, not enough DPS. Oh, he finally kills it. But that that's that always harvesters. He does have two harvesters behind this. Oh my goodness. And the gun walkers are healing up. And he just needs to repair. I should have sold his MCV a while ago, to be honest with you. And he's got he's got disintegrators coming out. He's got the EMP. And I can't believe it. But I think Hulk is actually dead from a dev core rush. A dev core rush in 2022 in a 1v1 game on decision is quite unique. And I think he's done it. Oh my god, he's done it. We're going into a tied series, ladies and gentlemen. Two to two. Two to two. Alright, welcome back to this series. It is two two. 2-2 two, two. in this round of one, we have Deso playing as the Skrin and his opponent coming from a defeat last game. We have Hulk playing as the green GD High. Thanks for the raid doc. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you had a red good red alert stream. I just, it's such a close series, this. Uh, Badlands, we have two spikes, one here, one here. Uh, with Skrin, you do have to be a bit careful. Um, because they can sell a buzzer here, buzzer hive, and snipe off your engineer. Ah, as you can see, the and the buzzer is there, so you have to be careful with your engineer here. Oh, he gets in a shitty position, so... Does he not notice? Oh, he actually gives away that buzzer. That's a gift. That's a gift. Yep, that's a gift. Does get one rifleman. Uh, disintegrators on the top, but... I mean, it's better off just to go two portal here. He's got one portal and built five disintegrators. But I feel like this is risky because GDI would normally scout here and here anyway, so... And he's going to go around because Hulk's not actually going to scout it, maybe. He might just miss it. I think he pulled his rifleman back as well. Um, forgot, his end, forgot his spike up here. That's a big deal if he forgets all day. As you can see, GDI having his packed lunch. Oh, no, no, no more. Sandwich break over. Oh, he's actually going to scout it. As you can see, it wouldn't be scouted with two portal. Oh, wait a minute. Did he see that? I think he did, though. Oh, I think he did. I think he saw it. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he wasn't looking. Oh, was he not looking? Oh, I don't think he was looking, you know. So is actually going to get in. If he kills both spikes, that is terrible for Hulk right now. That is a... That's an interesting refinery and war factory placement. I would, I've seen worse, but that is pretty top tier bad placement. Of like, that's a Master Leaf, but not backwards refinery. That is a, a great placement. Looks like Hulk is just going standard economy, but these disintegrators are going to instantly take out the spike. <laughs> yeah, that is beyond the refinery, yeah. Literally. Literally, right? I mean, uh, Hulk's going to lose both, I think. Actually, I think he might be alright. Okay, he's going to save one. Deso actually makes the right choice. He could even kill this blue tib if he's not going to take it to stop Hulk getting it later. We're going to see five APCs. Probably four, because he's already got one with four rockets in. But I don't know, Desu's done a great job of stopping these APCs so far. Yet again, whoever wins the series does go into round two. But whoever loses goes into the loser's bracket. And you never really want to be in the loser's bracket at the start of a tournament. Because it's just, it's bad for your mental health. You gotta have an underdog story and it's a pain in the ass because you're not the main character 90% of the time. Well, I am, but for you lot, probably not. So, you know what I mean? So it's a bit of a pain in the ass to go into a loser's bracket because there's a lot to get in there. I mean, I'm not really in them ever, so I don't know how it feels, to be fair, but... I can imagine it doesn't feel too great. I don't know. I might have already been in one, so... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing. The distance... <laughs> the distance will go down. The distance will go down. But they just some do make it out alive. Gunwalkers are out as well, so he's going to defend it, so it's not actually going to do much damage. A lot of, lot of Gunwalkers to stop these APCs. Put on some health bars. Yeah, that's not going to be great. Well played from Deso so far. He's pushing Hulk all the way back home, and Hulk's behind, actually. I mean, the APC rockets aren't supposed to put you too far behind. They put you behind a little bit, but this is incredibly behind, because he had to do a bit of barracks and sell it off here. He was delayed there, and then he had to build another barracks. He's only got his refinery down now, and 
I mean, Death is really going into tech, man. If he gets tech out, and those Firehawks aren't out shortly, you're in a world of pain. You're in so much pain, by the way, as a GDI player. If Skrin have map control, you might as well just go write a, a, a note to mum and start crying, because that is pretty much hell on earth. Oh, and the harvest is going to go down as well. Lightning Spike and Seekers. Very cheeky Desso there. He's being cheeky. He is just running away. And I've not actually seen Desso really play ever. He's doing a very good job, by the way. Against a pretty good player. Hulk's not pro, but he's pretty good. He beat... In the group stage, he beat a fair good amount of players, I believe. So, I mean, he's not bad. It's not like Hulk is bad. He's above mid-tier. Ah, probably just above mid tier. But I don't know because I, I rate people differently to other people rate them, you know. Um, so I would say above mid tier for me and good for everyone else, maybe. I don't know. And again, I rate people differently on their skill level in this game to everyone else. Oh, he didn't actually go tech. He went to War Factory. That's a mistake. If you're Scrin, never go to War Factory. You, you don't need to War Factory, honestly. You you do not need to War Factory before tech. You can get it after tech. Like, don't get me wrong. After tech, you can get it. I don't care. But it just makes no sense because, I mean, it's okay now because Hulk's going for two Pred himself. But against Firehawks, two War Factory and you're dead, bro. Because you, they're just going to bomb your tech. You're tier 2. And what are you going to do? Spam to some Seekers and Gunwalkers and go across the map and kill GDI? I don't think so somehow. No AP ammo? No, he's forgotten. I oh, know, it's just a late AP ammo. But even then, 2 War Factory against this is not great. But uh, it will be okay once he's got his tech out. But yet again, he could have had his tech out 25 seconds ago and had a tripod out by now. So, FYI, one portal, one war factory is all you need. And oh my god, he's gifting so much away. Oh my god, Desso, you're gifting so much away. That is such a big throw of units. That is unbelievably a big throw. That is insane. That is so many units that he just threw. He was doing so well up to that point. And he put repair drones down. That is a game losing moment he's gonna have tripods but the problem is now hulk can go two barrack infantry zone troopers and he wins if he just goes zone troopers he wins he can even go hammerhead zones i mean if he if this was drive and he and he killed all your gun walkers he would be like oh wait a minute he doesn't have any anti-air does he so if i just go like three four hammerheads maybe drop pod the drones uh the zones in boom easy win and when you come out to attack this, you see like fucking four hammerheads of zones in, and they absolutely destroy your fire or your tripods. The only thing I worry about Hulk, I always make this mistake. Well, I used to make this mistake. I always felt more predators equals better win with railguns. Predators suck. Predators are so bad against tripods, it is unreal. When they're alone like this, they're amazing. This this tripod will get wrecked. But once these tripods come together, bro. Predators are so useless, it's unreal. They are so waste of money. Never, ever, 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 ever spam predators against tripods, bro. They are worthless. They are trash. Even with railguns, they are trash. One big status and it's over. One big status and it's completely over. Oh my god, Hulk is just... Oh, he's gifting so much. And you're about to see predators be absolutely useless. Even without shield, watch this. One, one status and it's over. Maybe don't even need status. I would put a status down though. I mean, they are looseless. Look how many are dying here. That's a mistake. Uh, that's a mistake there. He could have just put the uh, tripod on that. Ugh, that might be a big mistake though. But yet again. Oh, he needs to put a good EMP. Wait a moment. Is this is this a throw though? Oh, the buzz is on the zones though. That's brilliant. I think he still might be alright. He's going to have to EMP this. He's going to have to EMP this. Does EMP it? If that Marv came out, if he managed to get this Marv... That's a big mistake. He should have fenced it and saved it. Oh my god. The fact he didn't save it, then... Oh my god. Hulk could have actually probably won this still. Hulk could have still won this. If that Marv came out, he would have won. But he just gifted Deso the win by selling it off. Oh my god. And that is a clutch win from Deso. Hulk is going to go down to the loser's bracket. 3-2 for Desso, and he does a fantastic job. 
That is insane. No, scorpions are really good against tripods. Predators cost more and they're more slow. Um, they shoot. Uh, scorpions shoot really bloody quick. I think predators shoot a bit slower as well. Scorpions are much better. Because you can build more scorpions than you can predators. And they're much quicker. So they do the turn. They do the turn quicker and they fire. I think they shoot faster as well. I might be wrong, but they always seem to fucking fire real quick. I think scorpions are amazing against tripods. The more the scorpions you have is better, actually. <laughs> it's the reverse. I mean, he doesn't want to quit because it's 2 2, but bruh. If that Marv came out, that would have been actually a game win for Hulk. The fact he sold it was such a big mistake. He should have fenced it as soon as he could have. And he should have put his uh, zone drop pod at the back. It was a big mistake. Oh, this is a silly push though. This is a bit silly. This push is very silly. Wait a moment. Desso throwing. Wait a moment. I think Desso just... He's throwing quite badly here. But he has a lot more. That's a big thing. Does he have an MCV? If he could have had an MCV and took these husks back. Oh my god, he has an MCV. Wait a moment. Oh, it's too much though. No, it's too much. Oh my god, he's just sending him in one by one. Oh, if he could just clean up this. Oh, he ran over the husk. Oh my god, he ran over the husk. Oh my god. He ran over the only hope he had. If he would have got them husk, that could have been a come, come back. But that is going to be it. Finally, Desso is going to take this win. Going on to the winner's bracket. Round of two. What a, what a series, though. Actually, a really good series from these players. Very impressed by these players this tournament. Both of them played incredibly well. And I don't say that often, so... Let's take it, I guess. It's pretty close, but it's not anymore. It's not. These repair drones. If he just had a few more Predators... Ugh, yeah, GG, though. Close, 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 close. Close game, but... Just a tad too much now. And that is gonna be it, finally. Said that a minute ago, but this is it. There's nothing left. Maybe shouldn't have rebuilt that MCV. If he just kept building Predators, maybe, I guess. Because Desso went to throw it in the end, but... GG, Hulk has been defeated, and Desso will be your series winner. Moving on to the round of two.